Hello, and welcome to the annual Social Embeddedness Survey Orientation video. Thank you for contributing in this effort. Our purpose is to capture and measure the extent to which ASU is truly delivering on its commitment to be fundamentally responsible for the economic, social, cultural, and overall health of the communities we serve. Your role. As the designated point of contact for your unit, you are responsible for logging into this portal regularly to manage the data collection for community-engaged courses and programs in your unit. This means that you will complete one survey for each social embeddedness program or course in your college or unit, or delegate someone else in your unit to complete the survey for a particular course or program. Ensure that programs and courses submitted last year are updated or inactivated as appropriate. Review all surveys and approve them by the deadline. Helpful tip. Before beginning, it is advisable to compile a list of all programs and courses in your unit which may be considered socially embedded, as well as the coordinator or instructor for each. If you have questions about what qualifies as socially embedded, check out our fact page at community.asu.edu forward slash annual survey forward slash FAQ dot PHP. Logging into the Survey Management Portal. To access the survey, go to community.asu.edu forward slash annual survey. Once logged in, you will see a list of courses and programs that were submitted last year. Programs are listed below the courses in this portal. Review each one by clicking on the Update button. How to inactivate a course or program that was not offered during fiscal year 15. If this course or program did not exist between July last year and June of this year, you should indicate that it was inactive. Simply select Inactive from the drop-down menu, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click Update. How to update a course or program survey. If you have enough information about a course or program to update the survey yourself, and you know the program was active last fiscal year, simply click Update next to the program and your survey management portal. Complete the fields, and once all information is filled in, indicate that the survey is complete by selecting Yes from the drop-down menu. Since you are the designated survey point of contact for your unit, you may also indicate that the survey is approved at this time. And click the Update Program button. If you have missed a required field, you will not be permitted to submit the survey. Follow this process for each course or program in the list. You will receive an email with the completed information as record of each completed survey. How to delegate a survey. More than likely, you will not have all of the information for all the courses and programs in your unit. As the survey point of contact, you may choose to delegate someone else to complete each survey on your behalf. To do this, simply type their email address under Delegate Email Address at the top of any survey. Add any information that you can if this is a new program or course, you will need to, at minimum, type in the name of the course or program and the department it resides in. Click Submit Survey. The delegate will receive an email explaining how and why they have been elected to complete the survey. Once the delegate has indicated the survey is complete, you will receive an email notifying you to go in and approve the submission. Simply review the fields to ensure that an attempt was made by the delegate to provide accurate information, and then click Approve before clicking Update Course. You may also choose to monitor the statuses of the surveys in your survey management portal. When you see that a survey is complete, simply click on Update and approve the survey. Helpful tip! Once you have approved the survey, the delegate can no longer access the survey to revise the information. In order to make an edit to this survey, you will have to unapprove it first and then reapprove it once the change has been made. How to add a new course or program. It is possible that new courses and programs have been developed since last year's survey. As such, you will not find them listed in your survey management portal. 
To add them, simply click on Add New Course or Add New Program, and you will get a blank survey to fill out from scratch. If you don't know much about the new course or program and need to delegate it, follow the same steps. Add the delegate's email address, add the department, add the name of the course, add the instructor or coordinator's name, probably the same as your delegate, and click on Add New Course at the bottom. The delegate will be notified to complete the survey on your behalf. Helpful tip! Use the information on the survey management portal to manage the surveys. After delegating the survey, you will notice that the program or course you just delegated now has the delegate's name and the status of the survey listed in the Management Portal page. We encourage you to use this information to follow up with delegates and remind them to complete the survey should the survey remain incomplete as the deadline approaches. If they are unable to complete the survey, you may want to re-delegate the survey to someone else as quickly as possible. Any status that says complete will require you to go in and approve it before it can be officially included in the survey data. Before the deadline, all surveys should either be inactive or approved. How to request a new point of contact. If you feel that someone else should replace you as the survey point of contact, or if you need to be assigned the point of contact for multiple colleges or units, simply click on Add or Change POC and fill out the form. If you have questions, check out our fact page at community.asu.edu forward slash annual survey forward slash faq.php or email us at community at asu.edu. Thank you for taking the time and effort to help us gather this important information. We look forward to recognizing your college or unit for its exceptional responsiveness to the needs of our communities.